All right, y'all, how's it going? Man, I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> this old river, you know, about the time you think you got it figured out, she kicked you square in the teeth and let you know you don't. I, uh, <clears throat> I come up, I drove a pretty good ways, come up to a different different stretch of the river, different section of the river I, I've never fished before. Uh, you know, and, I, and I've been wanting to come up here for a while. Uh, but anyway, Man, I went around, I fished a lot of water and I could not catch one single white bass. Oh man, I tell you what, it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, because it, I caught some bait yesterday. Uh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have any bait at all. I mean, yeah, I could have caught some bluegill, I could have netted some shad, I could have done, you know, that, but oh, I want to be some white bass in the worst way. <clears throat> But I, I don't know. I guess this section don't have no, don't have any white bass. Whatever. <laughs> so I guess what I'm about to start doing is when I want to do stuff like this, I'm just gonna have to, I guess, take a day the day before because down uh, up, up north, because I'm pretty good ways down south right now. But up north, you know, I ain't gonna say they're on fire and I can catch them every cast, but I can I can definitely catch them. But man, I tell you what, it's just. Sometimes they get super frustrating, but luckily, luckily, I got some, you know, I got some bait from yesterday. I caught me a, caught me a couple crappie, got a yellow bass, and that's it. So it's, this is going to be a, it's going to be a, a short trip, you know, especially if we get hung up and, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's not going to be good. But anyway, we're out here. I won't get some lines wet. We're gonna see what we can't drag up here. Like I said, I, I've never fished this area. And uh, it, I think the deepest, I did see like a 50 foot hole was the deepest. But everything is, everything's averaging that, that 38 to, you know, right now we're in 43 foot. So we're using about 35 to 45 foot is the average depth here. So we're gonna see, uh, I'm starting off on this, that we're gonna have a, it's a good bend that goes this way. Uh, last couple places I've been that's been pretty much where I've been you know catching fish is always on them points or bends or whatever so you know we're gonna we're gonna try it uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna do us any good I've like I said I've never fished here I scanned a little bit of it uh, and 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 we have a barge coming which is which is even better <laughs> well <laughs> Boys, I tell you, sometimes, sometimes, if it wasn't for bad luck, most or some days, I wouldn't have no luck at all that day. Let me just get on over here, get out of his way. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's. It's super surprising. I, I never thought, you know, as thick as them fish are, that I wouldn't be able to catch a single one. But it happened. It dang sure happened. That's the first time that's ever happened. So I guess it's always the first rare. I mean, I, I would at least catch one. You know what I mean? I mean, I would not fish all that water and not catch one. But oh well, it is what it is. We got some baits. We'll uh, we'll utilize what we got. Hopefully, hopefully catches a good fish today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, there we go. We got a fish in unknown territory. <laughs> Heck yeah, he hit that dang suspended rod. Not a monster. I think we got one on that, that board right out there too. Oh wow, <laughs> what he done is he swiped at it. Yeah, we got one on this one. What he done is he swiped at it that he got hooked in the tail. <laughs> yeah, that'll learn you. Yeah, that'll learn you, buddy. I know we got one on this one. Oh, he just come off. Gosh, dog it. 
<sighs> Pretty sure he took my bait too. Gosh dang it. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Hold on, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tend to you. I just. Oh, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Hang on, hang on. Let's get you taken care of. <laughs> but yeah, he was just hooked to the tail. Yeah, that'll learn you. And what'd you do with my head? It was on there. You tell me you flipped it over, cause that'd be terrible. Sitting there flopping around. Oh, there it is. Okay, good, 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 good. Heck yeah. All right, y'all, due to the fact that I have a lack of bait, there are Asian carp that are swimming around me. Now, I haven't done too good fishing Asian carp on, for catfish, but nothing says I know people that have caught. That have caught good catfish on Asian carp. Now, I don't have... I don't have my snagging rod out here. I usually, which is just my, it's just my bumping rod. So I'm going to use one of my skipjack rods. <laughs> We're going to see. Yeah, one, one Asian carp would do me just fine. They're right there, but I don't know if I snag him there. I got to get him all over this place. Yeah, we get one of them, we'll have plenty of bait. I could chunk him up, get a flay and chunk him up. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around. We'll see if we can't snag us one of these. I could see him, but I just know as soon as I snag them, boy, they are going to go stupid. There's a pod of them right there. Surely I'll get one of these. <laughs> like I said, these things will flat destroy a reel. That's why when I do this, I have 60 pound braid. Ah, come on now. <laughs> like I said, this is not ideal with this little rod. So I'm having to hold the spool. He'll be a good one. I'll be able to get all kinds of bait off of him. If I can get him in this net. It's a big one.
got him hooked pretty good too. I don't want to pull that hook. Ah, dog. Like I said, these things fight, boy. I got a fish on a planter board over there. Kind of in a predicament here. <laughs> and this boat is going to cruise right by us. Come on, buddy. Get over here. You gotta try to get him in this net. Dog. Got to try to get him in this net. Ah, dog. There we go. Ah, dang, he's a big. <laughs> I didn't mean to snag one this big. <clears throat> yeah, that's a. Man, they just stink. Yeah. Mm. All right, y'all, here's the, <laughs> here's the bait that I got. Man. You just don't know how big they are. <clears throat> well, that's, that's definitely not gonna be difficult. <clears throat> All I need is, all I need is one filet off of him. I don't even need the whole filet. But that'll give me some more bait, considering I barely have any. There's some more water up there. I want to. I want to fish. I gotta find my fillet knife. Now I've noticed whenever using Asian carp, which I don't use it often. I hardly ever use it. To be honest with you, uh, I've used it a couple times. I even had. I haven't had that good a success with it. But basically, just this. I guess it'd be the what you would call the. I guess the back strap. And uh, so that way you can kind of, you can block it off. So that way when you're dragging, it's not, well, I, I'll back up. You want to get straight along the, the, uh, the rib or the bones here, because I, my point is you want it as straight on the one side as possible. Cause if you're dragging, say like now we've got current, so we're dragging a current. If it's got any type of, like if you cut it sideways or I don't know, something like that. Well, it's just going to sit there and just spin on a fillet. That's why I like using chunks, but pretty big chunks if I was to chunk him up. Oh, oop, oop, oop. oh he dropped it. Gosh, dog. Yeah, it's on that big crappie head. I'm seeing some pretty good activity up here. Pretty shallow. When I say shallow, we're 28 feet. I didn't see a couple decent looking fish, but for the most part, they seem like a lot of little ones. But you never know what's hiding with them. So we're gonna keep dragging the shallow stuff.
Is he going to slow down? I bet he doesn't. Bet he doesn't. Yeah, I didn't figure he would. Unreal, people. Yeah, I figured ain't never one I'm gonna slow down. My lord. Yeah, unreal. Yeah, see, like I said, I had a, I had a fish on this while I was trying to fight that that Asian carp in the boat. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to, because it, it, it appears that they're just gonna camp out right there, so. And we got this jet ski. <sighs> I'm just, I'm just gonna call it y'all. Yeah, what little I'm catching is not worth this aggravation. I promise you that. It is not worth the aggravation. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. I mean, just, just look at the gall of these people. I mean, just look at them. Look at them all. Just... You probably can't see them all that well, but they're just chilling. And like I said, there's current, so they're floating down there to me, so I'm going to have to move. All this river. All this river. And the one spot they wanted to stop is right in front of me. Ain't that something? And like I said, we got this jet ski he's going to be running back and forth add to the aggravation
because what little I'm catching is not worth this aggravation. You know, I remember back in the day, not too long ago, you know, it was something my father taught me and I'm sure, you know, your parents taught you, it was just common courtesy, you know? I mean, it's, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all. And it's free. It's not even anything you gotta pay for. But we don't have that here. At least we don't have it anymore. Just about as aggravating as anything. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this thing on the trailer go home where everything makes sense so i'll tell you what this year don't <clears throat> i knew better i guess friday's a new july 4th I mean, there is miles and miles of river they could have stopped and, you know, hung out. Uh. <laughs> oh. You know, but you can't do that but laugh at it. Ain't no sense getting mad at it. I mean, not like I was catching a whole bunch of stuff anyway, so <sighs> whatever. So I guess on that note, oh, I hate to, I hate that this happened, but on that note, I appreciate you watching this one and I'll catch you on the next one.